episode of our tutorials. So this is part of Nobology. My name is Mr. El Chitumba. Today I am with uh, one of the most promising and upcoming radiographers, sonographer to be Mr. Simba. Welcome to Medical Ultrasound Academy, Mr. Simba. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I, am, I feel honored to be part of this initiative, part of this lecture, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, so, thank you so much. Is there an area that you feel that you don't understand uh, that we can take you through? Yes, I would, there is a key that I would want you to shed more light on, um, on its functionality. That is the focus key. I would want you to explain on how it functions and what is its significance in ultrasound imaging. Oh, beautiful and very brilliant. So, to answer you, uh, I need to you to take you back to the basics of physics. Yes, sir. So, I have here an example of a video uh, that I just acquired now. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, some aspects which can make you understand the function of what you call the focus key. So our probe will be somewhere here. Yeah. So this, this, is, this, this is the side where your probe will be, the anterior side, and then this is our posterior side. So what then happens is, as you understand from the physics of ultrasound, this portion, unfortunately we cannot see it here on this video, yes. but this portion, uh, Adjacent to the transducer is what we call the near field or the Fresnel zone. zone. Yes, then as you go down here, as you go down here, the beam will start to diverge. Unfortunately, you cannot see it on this, but we know the physics of ultrasound. Yes. So that, that, that region where the, field, the, the beam starts to diverge is what we now call the Fraunhofer zone or the far field zone. zone. You appreciate that? Yes. Sir. So what happens within the within the Fresno zone is the beam will almost be, be parallel. So during the, the, the time that the, the beam is traveling, the different uh, waves that are coming, you have got different wavelength, different speed, you understand? Yes. And they're traveling at different uh, speed. speeds. So what happens is there are times during which the waves they can come out of synchrony. So they come out of synchrony, they can be what we call destructive interference of the waves or constructive, constructive in interference. So the idea of us focusing, we need let's say we want to see this region to advantage at this place. So the, the idea of using a focus, we need waves that are coming together or in synchrony, and then there's going to be constructive interference at the site of interest. So that region where we are going to find maximum uh, constructive interference is where we call the focus point. So when you're doing an ultrasound scan, the area where you focus your beam is where there is maximum constructive interference. In that, in that region, it also means the image will be more intense and it will be more bright because the, 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 the waves are in synchrony. They are not destroying each other. So you appreciate that. Yes. Sir. So that is the essence of what of what focusing. we call the focusing. So you can see this line here, which which is here. You see this this small this small arrow here. You, you see this one. Yeah. So this one it shows the area where you are focusing. So our focus is is here, meaning to say the region we are demonstrating advantage is this one. So beyond, if you put our arrow here and you need to focus here it means you are out of focus if you put our arrow here again when you want to demonstrate this region we are out of focus so this arrow has to be in the same horizontal plane where you want to focus our what our beam we need the maximum intensity at that side so we need the way we have maximum uh, constructive interference. interference you appreciate that yes so now let us do a practical demonstration of how we actually uh, use this key, the focus key to advantage. So we're going to, to use your arm as an example. So now we need to, to scan this, this portion. So now what we do is we, we, we select our transducer. We, this is a superficial scan. So we need to 
Yes. So you can start now. Place your probe there. So you see now what is coming. So this is the part of the hand where you are. So the focus button is this one. You see this in this machine. So different machines have got different uh, buttons. So you see this. This is our focus button. And you can see at the top here, it's written focus. You see this? Yes. Sir. It's written focus. So to adjust the focus, we actually turn this knob. You see this? So let us move there clockwise or anti-clockwise. So moving it, you see what is happening. So this arrow is moving. Look at it. Look at it. You see, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. You see, it's moving. So if you move it um, anti-clockwise or clockwise, you can actually adjust the focus. You see, it's moving. Yeah. It's so that, that's what, so it's changing and yes. changing, changing. So it's, it's it's, it's just a little bit or a minor change that you are seeing because we are dealing with a superficial structure so all the structures they are almost in this, within the same focus and, uh, but if you are using a deeper structures like the abdomen uh, abdomen you can actually see the the, the the change will be more significant so let's adjust it again adjust so this is how we have to use this key so if you want to scan a region that is here you must make sure that this uh, this arrow that we have here is actually within the same horizontal level. So this is now what we call the focus button. So the essence of the focus button, we focus in the Fresno zone or in the near field. We need maximum signal intensity and maximum brightness. In maximum brightness, yes. How do we get those? by making sure that the waves are in synchrony or they are arriving at the same time so that you can get what is called constructive, constructive interference. interference you appreciate what i'm talking about so yes. that's the role or the essence of this type of what of a button or a key yes. so sure. essentially uh it can have a minimum significance when you're doing superficial structures because they'll be almost at the same focal oh, depth but when you are now dealing with focal with structures which are deep, you can actually see its relevance to advantage. So that's basically the use or the relevance of what we call the focus button. Thank you so much, Mr. Simba, for the question, and I appreciate you being here. I hope you understand the function of this key button. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate being part of today's lecture. I have really learned and. I'm sure I'm not going to be using the focus button to a greater advantage. Ah, marvelous. That's, that's beautiful. So, you know, some people, they don't even keep this type of a button. Uh, they just leave it like that. Uh, they don't know the, the significance. So, thank you all uh, for your time. Uh, Nobology is ongoing. So, we're doing it stepwise, one key at a time until we get there. Thank you so much.